order, please rise for the pledge of the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, moving on. The next item is approval of the agenda. Does anyone have anything they'd like to add or alter on the agenda? If there's, oh, Pat, you have something? Well, it's not really alter. We're just going to put it on a payment of the bills. Yeah, when we pay the bills. We'll yeah, I'm just going to add it in. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I would like to make a motion to approve the agenda as submitted. Support. Moved and supported to approve the agenda as submitted. Any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. The next item is approval of the minutes of the regular board meeting of June the 9th. I make a motion, the minutes be approved. I second the motion. Moved and supported to approve the minutes. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? The motion carries. The next item on the agenda is the financial report. We began the month with $265,714.07. We took in receipts of $7,873.50, and we made disbursements in the amount of $28,081.89, leaving us with um, a balance in the general fund of $245,505.68. I make a motion to approve the financial report as received. Support. Moved and supported to approve the financial report as received. Any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. Moving on, item under correspondence, item A. I just put this in here for your information. Uh, next week is the 4-H Youth Fair the St. Clair County 4-H Fair in Goodles. It is an excellent fair because it's geared primarily to the 4-H and the youth, uh, much more so than Armada, which also has a good fair, but they're not geared for the 4-H like St. Clair is. And, uh, is I'm sorry, Bill. Go ahead. No, is it true that they're not going to have, like, no poultry because of that avian flu? That well, the map there? still shows the poultry house, but I don't know if that's uh, yeah. true or not. Yeah, that's why I heard, like, a lot of They were fear. lifted some places, but not always. Yeah. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't be surprising if they did. Yeah. Uh, but it's a good fair, and I'm sure it's on the website. You can stop in the township and get a brochure with a map of all the facilities if you'd like. You know, I don't know if you'll see this before the fair, but you may. It's kind of cool. It's like an old-fashioned fair. You know, it's, it's nice not too big. Too. Yeah, it is. It's a nice fair. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good luck to the 4-H folks. Moving on. We have no old business under new business. Item A is the Iowa Fire contract. The old contract expired at the end of June. Uh, met with uh, Mr. McCoy, the supervisor. And he kind of proposed what we're looking at. It seemed like a reasonable uh, offer. Uh, it does put it to bed for four years. Uh, the one kind of the overriding reason he would like the four years is he would like people, I guess he's assuming there may be new people on the board, and he would like them to have more experience when this comes up again. He, oh. doesn't, he doesn't want to do it right after an election when somebody's only been on the board a short time. Mm -hmm. So he went with the four years. Sounds good. And plus it gives you another year before you have to do it again. You indicated in your notes that the uh, it's a two and a half percent. It's less than two and a half. Yeah. Because inflation right now is trending down. Well, it's and been 1.6 the last two. Yeah. But I have a chart in my office that shows the last 20. Mm -hmm. And the last five was still over two. Yes. The five before that was over two, but not much. And the 10 before that was like three. Yeah, yeah, the 10 will... So, when you go to the store, I can't see anything staying the same. It's just that the reason I'm raising the issue is that fuel is down like 20%, 30%. It's not. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I don't know if that's relevant or not. I mean, well, it all helps. It doesn't sound unreasonable to me, the I mean, two and a half, but uh, 
their calls are way down, so they're not being used as much. And uh, we're paying by the year, so it really doesn't matter how many calls they have for four years. Uh, and they do a good job. And uh, they have, uh, I think they have a little more technology in Richmond. They have the foam fire trucks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know they're working on trying to get the fire rating lowered, but I don't know how good they're going to do on that. Depends how much money they spend. So I don't know. I thought uh, projected Richmond contract, which goes by the number of runs, is expected to go up 2.3% for mm -hmm. this coming year if we approve it, which we haven't negotiated because they don't get back to me. So until they negotiate it, we're not paying them. Yeah. So that's good. How much is a, for Dyer Township, um, refresh my memory, how much is a fire run on um, individual calls? 250 if you're a resident. Okay. And 350 if you're a non resident. Right. Is that the same as Richmond? Yeah. That's the same for us. Okay. Every township's different. Some are 600. Well, I didn't know if it was a difference between our. No, I mean, we had we charge the same for everybody. Okay. Right. But we're about as low as anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, the one township just raised theirs. To I think I don't know, it's either thousand or twelve hundred yeah. or something. And generally, when the residents pay, that's to cover the, uh, the, the salaries of the firefighters. It doesn't pay the salary of it. Well, the two fifty doesn't cover our costs, but it helps offset. Okay. That's the one downside of changing first responder. But those are fifty dollar runs, yeah. and a lot of people didn't want to pay them, and you got to go to collections, and then they go after the credit rating for fifty bucks. Right. You know, and I did not see a benefit involved for the, all the hassle, the runs, and the costs. So, yeah, I know it could be less, but I thought it was reasonable because I can't tell you what the inflation is going to be in two or three years. Or fuel costs. It's probably going to go up, actually, because yeah. the Fed's going to raise the interest rate yeah. eventually. And there's the language in here that you can always get out, I don't know, 60 days notice or yeah. something. A lot of organizations from airlines to police departments are using these low fuel costs to update equipment. They have some extra cash, so they're ah, using that. Good idea. So, yeah. Well, like the airlines, so they're usually contracted for a year. That's why when it goes way up, they don't boost the rates immediately because they're all contracted. But uh, the years have gone long enough now, pretty soon you're not going to be able to say it's a dollar less than last year. Because that year is just about done. Pretty soon we're getting closer to last year's. So I don't know. I strongly recommend approval. They do a good job for us. I think the price is reasonable. Uh, I guess you have to remember that three years ago we paid them over fifty thousand for the same service. So you can understand that you know they would like to get a reasonable amount of money for their service. Uh, so I would recommend approval. So I make a motion to approve. I'll second the motion. Moved and supported to approve the four-year contract with Ira Township for fire service. And I don't know. Do we read you should put the dates in there. Uh, the dates, you want the dates and the numbers? July 1, 2015, endings June 30, 2019. I believe so. Yep. My glasses on. Okay. Yeah, that's a, what it is. She didn't yeah. Okay. So is that part of your motion? Yes, it is. That's part of your support? Yeah. Do you guys want the amount of dollars involved in the motion? Well, shouldn't you no, do that yeah. so? It's nice. Yeah. So you want it for each year or just from the start to the finish? I would say a total. Huh? How does he have it? Does he have it broke down, or does he? He does. Second page. I'll read each year. Well, no. I'll read it off, and then you can say what you want to do. Okay, starting this year, it's forty-one thousand dollars for the year. Then it goes up a thousand dollars each of the following three years. So the last year is forty-four thousand dollars. I'm going to have to make the breakdown uh, tomorrow. Okay. So is that, is that part of your motion, Colleen? It is. That's your support also? Yes. Okay. Move this 
forwarded to approve the fire contract with Ira Township with the dollars indicated. Is there any discussion in the period indicated? Is there any discussion? We'll roll call vote, please. Dan? Yes. Joe? Yes. Me? Yes. Bill? Aye. Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Moving on. Item B. As you remember, I think it was last month or whatever, we approved a a policy of uh, procedures and guidelines for credit cards. And in that policy, it said that the board must approve credit cards and lines of credit. So we just got our first Visa card and we canceled our debit card, which the board already approved. So on item 3B is a list of all our credit cards and lines of credit. So if you would like them included in the minutes and we make a motion, if you could please read those. We make a motion to approve our credit cards and lines of credit. That would include Staples as a credit card, Visa with First State, a credit card. Our line of credit would be Ace Hardway, Lumberjacks, and Cure, Cure Albert. Okay. We'll support. Okay, moved in support to approve the list of credit cards and lines of credits so indicated in the motion. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, I have a roll call vote, please. Okay, Colleen? Yes. Bill? Aye. Pat? Yes. Joe? Yes. And Dan? Yes. Motion carries. Item C, uh, Township Hall Survey. Under item 3C, you see that I received two prices for a survey of the property here, which is under state law is mandatory if you're going to have a site plan presented. Uh, the one price is 750 and the other price is 875 I would recommend that we approve the price of $750 from David J. Little, Professional Survey. I make motion to approve um, the bid submission for the Township Hall survey from Mr. Little at, uh, you said that $750? Yep. Support. Okay, moved and supported to approve the price of $750 from David J. Little, professional surveyor. Is there any discussion? I'd like a roll call vote, please. Okay. Dan? Yes. Joe? Yes. Yeah. Bill? Aye. And Colin? Yes. Okay, the motion carries. Moving on. Item D, architect drawing. In your packet was a copy of the, of, I believe it was the latest drawing mm -hmm. from the architect. Uh, the folks in the office made a couple minor revisions, uh, and I have those here that are marked up in yellow, but the, the general feeling for it as far as layout is probably going to be the same. We may alter a few offices in size mm -hmm. and there's even talk of maybe moving a storage room or something. Mm -hmm. But the intent is pretty much what's on there. I have one, only one issue. Mm -hmm. um, access to the hall. I know you have to come down that one hallway into the conference room down. Yep. I would like to see that bathroom shifted over. It may cost you that storage box, but I'd like to see a straight hallway from the lobby here to the door to the hall and the logic behind that because i think sometimes well if, the, if there's an event in the hall you don't want to funnel people to the well conference. they won't be they'll be coming in from the outside yeah. from the front door the side door or the back yeah i i, I think the flow would be better for um well it's actually for election purposes we don't let down. people use that right uh, the clerk may it's go back and forth it's not it's just out. for the election. I, I just think of flow. When you have a hallway like that, it should be we'll something that this um, over. it should be service the entire facility. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, he wants to be able to go straight through that. without the bathroom being in the way. That's right. Move shift the bathroom over where the storage closet is. And where are we going to get our storage? Well, that's that's okay. We have to hammer that out. Yeah. It just, that's my... That point was brought up to the architect, but he didn't, when I kind of explained to him the traffic that 
is involved, which is pretty much the only one, <coughs> except on rare occasions. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, I'll bring it up. Yeah. Bring it up, see if you could do something with that storage closet. If, if you, um, but other than that, looks good. I like it. I just put it on in case you had a chance to look at it, if you had any either ideas or serious problems with anything, because, you know, the architect's willing to work at with us, but he doesn't want to be changing it 800 times right. for the amount of money we're paying. Right. So, you know, like... Well, we didn't have any input on this, right? No, this, this is all his. Well, because first he came in with... He had one before this, I believe. Yeah, but, but then he changed it a lot for this one because remember the first one didn't have an assessor's office right. or anything. He didn't have a clerk office. Right. Right. You're gonna let you out. We could have lived with that, yeah, couldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't do that. <laughs> <Not mine. laughs> All right. So. so that I think roughly that's about it. Uh, I'm uh, puzzled than, about something. Yes, Go sir. Ahead. It looks like there's a, a hallway that might not be necessary. Where? Between the storage room and the other bathroom. If you change the entrance. Well, if you're leaving the old bathroom, it's necessary for that. But it doesn't have to be, that hallway does not have to be handicapped hallway. Right. This bathroom is... But you couldn't alter the, the, uh, right. the bathroom to accommodate a door, a, a different door. From a different, from the well, outside. since it's such a non-conforming little bitty room, yeah. how much expense is it worth to? Well, you could not, you could not is, move the door uh, in the current bathroom anywhere. You can't even open it all the way because it hits something. Mm -hmm. Right. So you either leave it as is, or you know, it was already also discussed to get rid of that bathroom. Yeah. But some of the folks said they'd like to leave it because it's already there. Wait a minute. I'm just kind of Let's uh, take another mashing call. around with Joe's suggestion of having a straight shot to the, you know, through the hall. The bathroom, I really don't well, the old bathroom doesn't it matter is. to the hall. No, but if you kind of move things around, you might be able to uh, preserve some storage as well as uh, accomplish what Joe's well, we, were we Were we trying to preserve the original plumbing so we didn't have to re well, plumb everything? No, you have yeah. to re plumb all the new stuff. Where's but if you left the existing, you would not have to plumb anything on that, basically. But if you put the new stuff and the old stuff back to back, the plumbing isn't a big deal, I don't think, if they're back to back. Well, well as long as they're close. Yeah. Well, um, just take a look at this. Um, you could, uh, if you eliminate the old bathroom, you rotate the new bathroom, you could actually increase the size of the conference room because you could move that bathroom out closer into the hallway there. You just have true. that straight shot. All right. But I was suggesting from the lobby into the hall. Right, that would eliminate that. Uh, well, so a little bit, but not very much. What? And you may Look have some it. space for a little bit of storage here. A little bit. No, you actually have less storage that way than you do now, I believe. I was a little concerned about how much storage. It doesn't seem to be enough storage, unless you're going to have an awful lot of files. Well, that's what I was going to. Yeah. I was going to suggest that maybe we need to enlarge our. Thing by 31 square feet to give us more storage. Yeah, I don't think there's enough storage in the, I whole, agree. the whole design. But right. it's not yeah. spread out at all. It's right. little, it's one little room at the end of the hall. Because right. there's what, how many file cabinets are there in the hallway? Four or five? I could go and, unless we're going to put them in somebody's office, you know. Well, some of them will be dispersed offices, the general township ones, I don't know. We, we're right. thinking of putting those in yours. The minutes, the books, the front of door. Right in front of the door. So nobody bothers you. <laughs> <laughs> the treasurer's <laughs> office, I know, doesn't have an eastward facing window. Would you like one to see the sunrise? I think I, why? I'm the <laughs> afternoon shift. I don't get here till <laughs> Are you kidding? The sunrise? No, he gave her the window she wanted. I oh. had the window. I just said I wanted to overlook the Telltale Mansion. Okay. And oh, I think I, mean, I do. She's got it. Well, I, I noticed there that eastward facing. No. It does, I don't no. even look out. My window's over my head at the of moment. Of course, you need so. a place to sometimes place your displays there. Who's paying their taxes and who's not? What? <laughs> All right. No. Explain to him what he wants to No. Well, he's proposed if we got rid of that, you could turn this bathroom crossways 
but then you'd have to have a five foot hole going all the way here. What do you mean? This way, cross this way? way? Yeah. Oh. But by the time you take the five foot hall here, and then you have the five foot six, you'd be about here with the edge of the bathroom. So your storage would be shorter if you wanted storage in here. Well, that's a possibility. Um, All right. Yeah, talk to him, see what he can do. Okay. Yeah, because I, okay. yeah, I didn't like the, the flow there. So. This is difficult. Well, you got to walk around to get there. I understand that. And I'm the one that makes that trip more than anybody could have lost. Going to the basement for something or coming up here for something, but. The exercise does us good. Absolutely. Right. This whole thing about every half you know, hour doing something. To see, or he thinks they should be able to see each other. Mm -hmm. Get up and look, go in the office. <laughs> who who wants to see who? Well, Mr. Mr. Bill. No, what I told them was, because they've been in the same office all these years, if they had separate offices that couldn't see or hear each other, they're going to be in each other's office 80% of the time. <laughs> Gavin. No. They I don't, don't mind. To do. Me it, too. I'm going to get a clock, like a yeah, chess clock. Yeah, we're going to lock you in <laughs> so you can't see Dad, nothing. Go in and press the clock. We're going to lock you in. Fortunately, we have a good old happy crew. Then. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. We, do have. we give them a yeah. hard time. But well, we we're going to fine tune it and give it to architect again. Uh, right. Usually, and, uh, when I, on the weekdays when I stop in here, I always say, well, I only stop for a few minutes and I end up like for an hour. Yeah. You guys Why don't you come in one day in all honesty and sit at my desk and experience what it's like to run four departments in one desk. I should do that just to answer the phones one day. Yeah, but that's not all you do. No. <laughs> no, that's not all. <laughs> And she does that, and now for myself, I do the payroll and the accounts payable, yeah. and, and she, while she's running stuff over in her part, yeah, and but then Bill's running his stuff over in his part. Yeah, I like the lobby looks good, you know, that's good, and the supervisor's office has three windows yeah, peering I, down there. Yeah, yeah. That should be fine. Yeah. Well, we're close. Yep, it's getting there. When we get to the final one, you, or even before it. You'll be seeing it again. Okay, good deal. If, uh, if it won't hold till the next meeting, I'll get it to you. Cool. So, <coughs> are, so are you going to take Dan or Joe's suggestion and ship that bathroom? Well, I'm going to talk with Chris. Okay. If yeah. he can't make it over here, I'll go over there. I think we'll get a bigger conference room. We can ship everything to the um, to the north and rotate that bathroom. You have Not much room. though, Joe, because you have to keep that five foot hallway going all the way straight through. No, I understand. But so by the time can't. you turn five foot six bathroom crossways, now you're up to ten foot so six. So you're going to be down to three feet in there. So with no storage something. or right. skinny storage. And then they can go straight And see if in room. the conference room slash lunch room if you have like a counter with a sink in it. It's going to be a counter yeah. sink. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Refrigerator, yeah. microwave. Oh, we got that all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, we all line that up with the architect, so he knows that. Okay, good deal. Excellent. I think we're winning here. I think we're on the Oh, yeah, it can't be anything but good. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Excited. Anybody else have anything on that? Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. All right. Item E, Cemetery Driveway, as I mentioned in the update. Uh, I don't know when the last time is they did anything to the driveway. Uh, it's pretty much all grass right now, and under the grass is basically dirt, and it needs help. Uh, I believe that for a thousand bucks, I can get two semi loads of either crushed concrete or asphalt and get it leveled off. And I already talked with the cemetery maintenance person, and he definitely agreed that it needs work. And uh, so I need approval from the board. Um, you can certainly put a cap of a thousand dollars on it if you would like. I make a motion to approve. A thousand dollars to be used to update our driveway and our cemetery. Support. Okay, moved and supported to allocate up to a thousand dollars for driveway improvements at the cemetery. Any discussion? Do we have a roll call vote, please. Yeah. Colleen. Yes. Bill. Hi. Pat. Yes. Joe. Yes. And Dan. Yes. Okay. 
Let me just touch base, unless you want to, Patty, on the thing here, and then well, I'll turn it over to you, or whatever you want to do. Yeah, actually, I was going to just explain to them what I did. Okay? All right, let me. All right. What I did today is I had to go buy some things from Kmart for our office. So I used our new Visa card, and that's what this expense claim is. And um, I have the receipt if you need to see it. i tell you what I got. I got coffee and uh, color paper. Anyway, several items for $38.75. And our new thing says that I now have to bring it and get an okay. Well, I just did it and it will come like the middle of the month. So I want it okay with the bill, so when, it, when the bill comes through, I can go ahead and pay it. Okay. Do you have any questions? Can I just touch base on that one? Sure, go ahead. Clarify. When we approve that credit card policy, it basically says the credit card bill cannot be paid without board approval of what was spent on what. And we don't know what day of the month we're going to get our credit card bill, because it's brand new. If that day of the month allows us to just do it at a regular meeting, we're fine. If it doesn't, we're going to do it ahead of time because we never want to be late paying the credit card bill because they rip you 40 bucks or whatever if we're late. So that's why we're doing it this way this month and we'll see what day of the month we get our bill. Okay. I make it a motion to approve the bills as submitted in addition to the $38.78 used on the First of State Visa credit card. It was 75 cents. We'll be approving this again. What's that? Oh, 75 fine. cents, not 78. Oh, I'm sorry, 78. I'll support that. Okay, moved and supported to pay the bills, including the $38.75 Visa credit card bill. Any discussion? Yeah. Um, early bird Earls, did he come quite a bit this past winter? Right. Well, yeah, well, he. He ripped us for salt this year. Uh, salt went up $100 a ton. So every time he salted, it was 25 bucks. And then the last bill we got was actually for two payments, because he didn't bill us the one payment. So he billed, the cost of snow removal was the same, plus the $25 a trip for the salt every time he used it. Okay. Now I'm hoping that salt will go down again this year, and it will be good. But the salt went from Forty-five dollars a ton, roughly, to one hundred and sixty a ton last week, okay. and he didn't, he couldn't absorb all that, which was understandable. Okay. So let's we'll see what happens this year. Plus, he, right. but he did whack our tree. I didn't go after him for it. Is that why it's dying? Yeah, he hit it with a snow blade. I couldn't yeah. see it until the snow melted, but all the limbs are dead but one. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay, so. Moved and supported? Yes. To approve the bills and the credit card. Can I roll call vote, please? Roll call vote. Dan? Yes. Joe? Yes. Pat? Yes. Bill? Aye. And Colin? Yes. Okay, moving on. Citizens' comments. You all good? All good. All good? You go. All no. good. Okay. What did you think about moving the bathroom? What about moving the bathroom? Yeah, <clears throat> Yeah, we just talked about that today. But, I mean, I think it really should go over by the by bills. Get rid of that storage and stick it in there. Isn't that what we talked about? Well, but I was thinking today, you know, oh. everybody says the storage, but our entire storage area that we currently have is gone in this plant. Yeah. So you need a storage. Mm -hmm. That storage area, Bill, you only got one wall. Did you look Two. at that? No. This one? The yeah. one in here, you mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. if you open the door out instead of in, you'd have two walls. Well, you, you've got five by, what is it, five by eight? Something like that. Not even that. So you, you'd have the one wall with, with filing cabinets. you got to get in to get the filing drawer open. So you, No, I'm talking open shelf storage like we have going into the old bathroom. That's our open shelf storage right now, and that's going to be gone. Oh. We need open shelf storage I for see what you're saying. papers, pens, clips, uh, plat okay. books notebooks, gotcha. all that stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff and there's, because, you know, Brenda mentioned they might want to do away with that room. Well, 
I started thinking about it. Well, you need a storage room someplace. Mm -hmm. Cabinets, you can allocate yeah, space because you're self-supporting and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But we need storage shelves so for that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but don't worry, you're going to get involved whenever we get to the next step. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want your input. Yes, yes ma'am. I only maintain, I think you, you need to check out your furniture and the people in the room and kind of figure what your size should be. You know, I mean, on, on, even on the offices. Because we were measuring today. Well, yeah. Yeah. Mine was not going to work. It's not going to work. Yes, no. That is using. It's six foot long. Are you yeah, strapped to the, what, what is it, 700 and some feet you're putting right. in? Or? So that ain't going to work. Well, I in. hope we're No, gonna, the first time you came, it was yeah. Yeah, we have to. seven something, and then he upped it. Uh, I don't know if it's 900, but it's close to it. 969. I think we should go right to the site plan. You got room or what? Could you go a little bit bigger? I mean, could. Look, if you kicked out the gable ends. I How much more is it going to cost you? I, you know think one time. I, totally one time. I think you should go. If there's an option to go bigger and it's not like a Touch my killer, yeah, I, I would do that. I mean, this is a one shot deal. Right. I'm not going to be doing another one of these for a long time, I don't right. think. Not here. And we do need to store it. Yeah, I think you need more space, actually. Okay, we'll talk. That, that's probably one of your biggest issues, too, is the storage areas. Right. right. Even other than what you're talking right. about. Well, I didn't think about that. You need and you need the. The I filing think, cabinets. I think between room. all the offices, there's probably plenty of room for the cabinets. Whether they'll be in the room where they're used the most, I don't know, because there's there's a lot of room there. And uh, getting in some of them. I mean, well, not yeah. in the center. It seems to me like you're building for what you have right now and what's going on right now. That's and that right. could it's there's not a lot of room to move out. Right. I mean, right. As things That's change, if they And do. right now we have how many houses going up? You don't want to have to do another we survey. We got nine you don't houses want to going have to Get another architect's drawing. You know, if right. you can do it now, do it now. You know, if we can afford it, and it seems as though we can. You know, we can well, you're basically pretty close to doubling the size. Years. Yeah. Well, yeah, but the areas, and I mean, I'm not trying to complain, but the areas that you're increasing, the the treasurer's office is going to be twenty by what? No, it's not 20 by 19 by 0.3. Oh, the treasurer, I think, says assessor. No. I'm sorry. No, the treasurer's office is. Well, and of that, I thought of that as there may be enough room there. You could put a storage cabinet or something. Mm. Yeah. Maybe a pass through window between the secretary and clerk's office. Uh, well, no, we switch they've years. been switched. Uh, I'm now the, where the assessor Oh, they're shifted now. Well, the assessor they're they're measuring the office size. No. <laughs> oh, what do you mean, no? The size of the two offices. What did I hear? That office is bigger than mine. We're switching. Well, she's only there one day a week. <coughs> I understand. Say, I know, Don't say you know, no. Well, give the whole logic behind it. We're on TV. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's that's really called human nature. And who's going to take the assessment? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be on that. You got southward facing. You get sunlight. That'll be good for you. Mm -hmm. are, are you planning for filing cabinets every, yeah, every office? Yeah, I'll be able to lay and get the sun. You know, that's, that's going to be a big issue with you. You know, when you try to fit the desk and all the other stuff. I understand. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess I'll have to look closer at the ones we have and see if they could be allocated. Like the ones for the building department, obviously you should go to the building department. The ones for taxes and treasurer should obviously go in their office. There's a couple that are basically township stuff, like the minutes books and stuff. They throw them in my office. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, that would be so appropriate. I don't have a problem with that. What I'd like to do is I'd like to find, if anybody is out there, give me a really good deal on some fireproof cabinets, let me know. So I would really like to get some. But the price went ballistic. Yeah, yeah it's high. Yeah, and so, we don't want, we want them in pretty good shape. Well, we've got- <laughs> Right, Bill? Know, yeah, we do. I don't know, we've got like five fireproof or fire resistant ones. But it'd be nice if we had about four more. Hey, can you put stuff on this pad or not? Yeah, Some of the stuff that's pretty, expensive. pretty impossible. Eh? Well, the I was at a meeting with the county clerk, and they want to do it for you. And he <coughs> estimated a big box would cost about six hundred dollars. And count our boxes downstairs. So do what? And count our boxes downstairs. Oh, I see. Small fortune. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very at this point in time, it's six hundred dollars a box. Yeah. A really? box. 
Yeah, so wow. for our budget, it would be a large fortune. Because it's, it's yeah. large man hours to and do that. And then you'd have to retrieve them then after that, too, you know. So, well, I'd be, nice, be but online, but Yeah. But right now, we can't afford that. I didn't know how that worked. I mean, I love them. Yeah, they want to do it. They offer their service up there. But right now, it's cost ineffective. I think. Okay, anybody else have anything? Uh, I learned today that our federal money, after all this time, was finally approved for the bridge. Mm -hmm. So it looks like they're going to wait and bid it out in November and do it next year. And which bridge is this again? That is on Hessen near 26 Mile Road. Okay. It was supposed to be done this year, but the federal government ran out of money like they always do. So you can't bid it out till they reallocate some, but they got some. So they'll be bidding it out in November and be done next year. Okay. So that's good. Uh, nothing else. Anybody else have anything? I guess we're up to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Support. Moved and supported to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Stand adjourned. All right.